What's up guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Clicks Cotton Candy Keyboard from Matrix and I will tell you if it is worth the money to buy right now. So, enjoy. So first we're going to start off with the box. It's like a really nice textured box. It has it says Clicks X Matrix, matrixkeyboards.com and then it has on the side, on the back, it has all the details is that upside down no it's not anyway uh next you open the box in it you get the keyboard which i already have the keyboard open you get a keycap puller and a switch puller is this is a really weird keycap but switch puller though and then you get a cable the cable will look like oh shoot cable will look like this it'll say okay it doesn't look like it says clicks but it says oh wait that's because it's upside down um and let's look here clicks backwards obviously because it's freaking gorgeous on an iphone camera uh no but it's a usb c port you can plug it into your playstation xbox or pc and then it has this really nice paper that the keyboard came in. Feels really nice. So, moving on. Next, we're going to talk about the keyboard itself. <clears throat> so, I got this color type of colorway. This was the restock. So, it has a different space bar. It has PBT, double shot, putting keycaps. It has... I'm just going to press on my fingers. Right. Hold up. There. Has. I got the Speed Silver switches, but you can get. Um, I think there was red Gator on red. Uh, there was blue and brown. Um, so this has. This doesn't have a feet stand. It has rubber stoppers right here. It says Clicks X Matrix on the bottom. I thought that was really cool detail. It's a see. It's a transparent case. And it has, it kind of is like angled up, so that way you don't need feet stoppers, and it's, or like a, a feet for the keyboard, and it's actually really nice. It feels really nice to have. The space bar doesn't sound great, I will say that. This is because it's not on the ground. This is what it sounds like on the ground, hold on, or on the desk. Um, but no, this is actually really solid keyboard. There's, um, function button. There's a function button, I think. Nope, that's... Is this function? This is function. So you click this two times, and then you can change the RGB through this and this. And then you can change the fast, to, or the, the speed of it through this, this. And then you can change, I think, the lighting, this, and this. So yeah, it actually has some really good features. Here's the port, USB-C. It actually looks really nice. I do I do like the colorway. I like the way they put the space bar. This time instead of the previous drop before. So that wraps up that segment. Next up will be the sound test. I'm actually gonna plug it in here. All right, here it is, I'm gonna Watch, watch and wait, wait and watch. Look at that. Actually, I should probably turn this around. Hold on. Wait. Guys, get a really good view. What's going on? Oh, it's it's still the same. Just different angle. Okay. So I'm just gonna spit it back in. That's how this is gonna be. All right. So let's sound test. All right, so.
RGB settings are pretty simple. So what I said earlier is functions, and then you can change it. And then you can go with like some reactive ones. So I'm not gonna lie, the space bar's gonna work. Oh, this one goes off the rows. Oh, oh wait, there's also another one. Oh, okay, that's not it. Okay, so this one. Let me. Oh, see this one's sound. So this one's sound oh see that that's cool so these are really cool um this is another sound setting yeah and then we get these all the same okay so and then you can do uh this is speed so you can make it go really fast or you can make it go really slow I tend to kind of like this one, or no, this one, or no, this one, I like that one. And then this one goes off of, I think, see how it dims, it dims, and then go up, and then that's as bright as it gets. So yeah, really cool RGB settings, uh, and this lights up red, so that's kind of cool, I thought, but no, I think this is a really cool keyboard. Off, this comes out to a really cool keyboard. The price was, I paid. We paid. I think one thirty-five or one twenty-five, or one fifteen maybe. I think it was one fifteen. But uh, now they're going for around four to five hundred. If you can find three hundred, that's a really good deal. But no, these are actually some really cool keyboards, and I actually this is one of my favorites. This is my first keyboard, and this is probably gonna be one of my favorites for a long time. So. Would I recommend buying this keyboard right now? No, I would not because this is, while it is a really cool keyboard, it's the design is really cool, and it's really it's it's really good quality. There's uh, better keyboards that are cheaper and have um, they have like um, better things for them. So the Wooting 60HE or the Apex Pro Mini is, are always better options than this. Because this is a limited time drop, and this probably won't return. So this is going around 300, 400. You can buy the Wooting for 175 or 220. So or the Apex Pro you can find on Amazon for 160. So I would not recommend buying this. It is a really cool keyboard if you have the budget, maybe. But I would recommend the Wooting 60HE. It only works on PC though, so if you're looking for one for PS4, then I will probably do another review on one. But this is, while this is a really cool keyboard and I love it, I think this is like a really cool keyboard and everything about it is awesome. It's it's not good. It's not going to do you well for the price. It's way too expensive for little, for little things with it because it doesn't come with... The, the switches that have the um, adjusted actuation points, like Wooting's 0.1 millimeters. You literally have to rub your finger for it to respond. So I would not recommend this. I think you should either buy the Wooting 60HE or the Apex Pro Mini. So that's my verdict. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing more reviews like this in the future. So stay tuned for that. Bye.